Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a bit of a game review, um, game review slash uh, box opening really. Uh, it's a few days late, uh, but been a bit busy and uh, this is my only chance that I've had really to open the game. Uh, so it is, of course, the big box opening of WWE 2K14, the Phenom Edition, Undertaker Phenom Edition. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy my box opening slash review. So straight away, um, the box, very large. It's a big, big large box, quite thin really. And it's got all the detail on the back in several different languages, all the game information. And what all, what stuff you sort of get in the game, the description and the pictures. Empty. And inside you get a coffin shaped case, tin case really. Like a biscuit tin case. And the only difference is it's in the shape of a coffin. Uh, it's got the Undertaker symbol on, Undertaker Phenom edition as well. All embossed, so nice and out of out of the uh, tin itself. It's pushed out a bit. Feels good. Nice effect. But yeah, it's in a in a coffin. So you open it up, open up the tin coffin, and the first thing you get is the game. That's what it's like. You get the game. Uh, it's got the rock on it. Also got the indication say that it includes the Ultimate Warrior. And on the back you've got all the descriptions, you've got a picture of Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, John Cena, uh, Batista and The Undertaker. It tells you all about the game, so you've got 30 years of WrestleMania, uh, best roster ever, uh, The Streak, WWE Universe and uh, Creation Suite. And uh, one thing I noticed, you open it up, you've got your instruction booklet and uh, promotions of other little things. Also got the Ultimate Warrior uh, code to download, which I've already done. I noticed one thing was that on the inside of the sleeve, you get a Daniel Bryan version of the cover. So you've got The Rock on one side, and you've got Daniel Bryan on the other. Who knows? I don't know anybody who would want Daniel Bryan on, on the front cover of their game. I know I certainly wouldn't. But you would have thought because it was the Ultimate Warrior's first time in the game, including him as a DLC, you would have thought that they might have put Ultimate Warrior on the front case. Same with The Undertaker, it's the Phenom Edition. Stick him on the front case, rather than The Rock who pops in every now and again, and Daniel Bryan who's a goat face flying. I don't like him. Also inside the coffin tin, of the Phenom Edition. you got disc one of three of The Undertaker's Streak. I haven't watched this yet. Uh, probably never will. Simply because it's it's the start but it doesn't end uh, of his DVD. Which is a bit of a shame. Um, but I suppose you're not going to get a full on special edition Streak DVD for free are you? You get a teaser of it. Which kind of makes sense but then it's the Phenom Edition. You know, give him a whole DVD to watch. You got a sticker as well for your Xbox in my case. I haven't used it, it's still still intact. I probably won't use it really. Um, I would rather have a controller than a sticker that will probably come off. So yeah, that you get a nice sticker with it. So I'm picture with The Undertaker. I don't know, apparently that's his signature. I've never seen him sign anything before. So yeah, there you go, Undertaker, nice, nice tough picture with his signature. And last but not least you've got the Undertaker, or the badass edition really, uh, DLC, which I've already done so that's pretty cool. So you get two DLCs, a signed picture, a nice little sticker, one of three collectors DVDs, and the game itself. All wrapped up in a nice embossed Undertaker style tin, which is pretty cool. That'll uh, sit on my shelf next to my GTA Collector's Edition. And, and, and one extra little bonus for pre-ordering the game at Game in uh, in town. 
I got a long sleeve WWE 2K14 shirt. Become Immortal on the back, WWE 2K14 on the front, WWE 2K on the back, Become Immortal. The shirt's nice, but maybe they could have done a bit extra, you know, put a big Phenom on it or Ultimate Warrior or something along them lines rather than all white and become immortal on the back. So you've seen my opening of the box and I am going to review WWE 2K14. So WWE 2K14 is the latest wrestling game from the WWE and this time around 2K uh, which have logos all over the case, there's one there, one on the spine, one on the back, they have the rights to produce WWE games from now on really and I think that 2K do not fail to uh, deliver really. Previous games were made by THQ and they did really good jobs really of uh, previous wrestling games but first one in probably a long line of WWE games with 2K and I think 2K deliver. Straight away as soon as you put the disc in and it loads up you are welcomed by a massive image of The Rock with wrestlers entrance themes songs. The menus are laid out in easy accessible also simplistic laid out so you can't really get lost uh, you know where everything is they're all basic laid out uh, in a simple manner really the creator wrestler is back once again and personally I love creating wrestlers um, I've done it ever since day one of having a wrestling game and uh, it's literally the first thing I do I go and create myself and put them in the game this time around there are more items to pick from to customise yourself and to compete against uh, some of the greatest wrestlers. All this as well with, well there's, there's like no load scenes at all. Whereas before, on previous wrestling games, if you were creating your, your character, you would select an item. Then you'd want to select another item but it would, it would load, it would lag almost in between the two items. Whereas now it's pretty scroll through, pretty easy and uh, very little waiting time really. WWE Universe mode is kind of back. WWE Universe is kind of the same as WWE 13. However this time around uh, there is more details in the rivalries and the title descriptions. It's also got the calendar, roster change. Uh, you can also change the name of Raw, give it a different logo. But practically WWE Universe is back. The wrestlers themselves look great with details in their tattoos, their hair, their costumes, the, the sweat even and a lot more really. I played a match in the streak mode. I was John Cena and I tried to defeat The Undertaker in the streak mode. However, I did get my ass kicked. Um, this is to prove how tough The Undertaker as a character is. Also to prove how... I don't know, legendary the streak is, so not even the best of today, John Cena, could uh, defeat the streak and The Undertaker. It was literally my first match that I did, so maybe it'll take a bit more practice. Um, yeah, I've got to get more more fluent with the wrestlers, and then I might challenge the streak and uh, try and defeat The Undertaker. So like I say, I was new to the game. And I didn't know the full layout had seen as moves or the button aspect of the new WWE 2K game. But I did find it tough and challenging to try and defeat The Undertaker in his own little streak mode. 30 years of WrestleMania is very entertaining. Um, I've got all the WrestleManias apart from two on uh, DVD. And I love WrestleMania. So watching them is pretty good. But then to be actually inside them and play them is a lot better really. Uh, you get to wrestle matches from WrestleMania 1 and uh, you go all the way up to, I think it might actually go to WrestleMania 29, but it might actually go to WrestleMania 30, I'm not too sure on that one, uh, but you can go to present day WrestleMania really. Um, unfortunately I haven't got there yet, I mean I've had the game about two days and I've played it once because uh, I've been a bit busy, but I know you can go pretty far from Wrestlemania 1 to Wrestlemania 29 let's say obviously Wrestlemania 30 hasn't happened so maybe I haven't done anything for that but I do know that you can get the arena for Wrestlemania 30 early Wrestlemania so the three that I've played uh, Wrestlemania 1, 2 and 3 uh, they, they have a grainy aspect of the screen 
this gives the effect of how old the TV is. Uh, it gives the added effect to say that it is an old WrestleMania, really, which is good. You know, it's. I don't think it'll work as well if they had WrestleMania One, for example, in stunning HD. I mean, the graphics are good anyway, but then they added the grainy effect to give it the effect of 30 years old, which is good. It's a good edit effect which is needed really. On the second match of the epic story mode of Wrestlemania I found that King Kong Bundy was a very tough opponent. I found I was Hulk Hogan I was wrestling King Kong Bundy in the steel cage match and I found that I would kick his ass but I could not use a finisher on him. Um, that was just before I managed to defeat him but he was a tough opponent. I kicked his ass and uh, it would do one or two moves to me and I'd be on the floor and he would escape. And this, I probably tried about ten times to try and defeat him. And he was surprisingly a tough character. So, yeah, I, I tried a few times, tried about ten times, and King Kong Bundy was a tougher opponent to try and beat. But I managed to do it in the end, and then I got stuck on uh, Randy Savage versus Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And I'm currently stuck on that one. I'd, I'd kick Macho Man's ass and uh, he would yeah, would come back and beat me. And there's one bit, I think it's the second or the third uh, WrestleMania moment that you've got to try and unlock. And I'd beat him, and then you'd press the X button to not, and the referee would get knocked down. And then you couldn't reverse anything. Macho Man would be on a run then, until he gets to the top rope, and then he comes down, and then it's like, oh yeah, by the way, you know, you can fight again. Once he's, you know, beating you down and worn your body out and it, it says that he wants you to uh, do a, a pin pin do a, a right stick pin or something and it's like how are you meant to do that i couldn't get him anywhere near the ropes to try and get a leverage pin on him i think i defeated him twice and uh, that was trying to use my right stick leverage pin and i couldn't do it i do aim to try and beat it but at the minute i'm stuck Macho Man, Randy Savage vs Ricky the Steamboat at WrestleMania 3. Can't seem to do it, but yeah. King Kong Bundy was a tough opponent. I play as Ricky Steamboat and uh, Macho Man Randy Savage is even tougher. I knew it was a hard case, but uh, yeah, he's a tough opponent to try and beat. I find, anyway. I need to play it more and try and defeat him. So, overall, after my little rant of King Kong Bundy and Macho Man Randy Savage and how tough they are, Overall, WWE 2K14 is a great game. However, the controls are still unresponsive a good amount of the time. There would be times when I tell my character to run or do a drop kick, for example. But for some reason, my character would stand there and get beaten. And it's like, I've told you to run away, and yet you're still getting your ass handed to you. And it's like, no, run away. The reverse button as well in 30 years of WrestleMania is almost non-existent. I mean, that's just from the few matches that I've played. And that's that's King Kong Bundy against Hulk Hogan. Now, I always thought Hulk Hogan was a lot better than King Kong Bundy. But apparently not. In 30 years of WrestleMania, King Kong Bundy is a tough opponent. Same with Macho Man Randy Savage. I don't know what his stats are, but compared to Ricky Steamboat, it's like Ricky Steamboat's rated 60 and Macho Man Randy Savage is like a 95 or something. I mean, that's my way of thinking. I mean, he, he, you know people watching the video could think that it's really easy to beat him. I, three matches in, I found it quite tough to beat him, really. Honestly, though, if you're a wrestling fan, then this game is definitely for you. If it's a wrestling game you want, WWE is the best one to get. And the latest and greatest is WWE 2K14. So if you're a wrestling fan, definitely get it. But, honestly, guys, thanks for watching my review and box opening of WWE 2K14. Honestly, Great game, however there are little annoyances with how tough the wrestlers are and the button system not always working. Like I say, trying to run away and he stands there getting his ass whooped. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget, check out We The Devoted, use promo code TOBYWTD. All the links in the description. But thank you very much for watching my review at WWE2K14. It's 12 o'clock. Thanks. Over.